Hello again. This is the fourth update for the EVA Garage platform and I just released version 1.1.0 um, of this project of ours and um, there's a few things uh, that come with it. The main one would be uh, support for MGN12. This is the main feature of this release and we can see over here we have the MGN15. If I switch to MGN12 everything gets shrunk a little bit so um, you, you do that for many reasons really. Um, I think those are cheaper, they are lighter so that's good for an Core XY for example where the whole X gantry is moving back and forth so you have less uh, Y um, backlash vibration ghosting. Um, the sizes like where the belts go on both of them in respect to the rest of the frame are the same so those are compatible with each other you just switch uh, the rail and the two plastic parts because those are the only ones that really change the top one and the bottom one because they have to be have to be shorter in the Y plane Y axis and uh, yeah and the bottom top one is a little bit uh, taller because of that uh, compatibility that I wanted to sustain between them um, on the profiles that we have right now the V slot ones uh, uh, MGN 12 would be uh, a little bit too um, too small basically so the surface, the mating surface between the profile and the rail would be too little and you may have, you may run into two weird issues. So uh, would need to switch to a, a T profile or however those are called, I call them V profiles or T profiles. Um, but those are different ones like type 6, type 8, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. I'm looking at my notes. Uh, the sliders are another uh, update. The, there are six of them right now. The Corex Y ones uh, for an M5 screw for uh, nine millimeter belts. Um, as you can see, each variant has its alternative version where the teeth are on um, on a different wall. And that's because I wanted to support different belt orientations on different printers. You have the belts uh, wrapped in different ways. So, uh, so the teeth, when they come to the carriage, may be on one side or the other. So uh, EVA supports both. Uh, the other thing for the Cartesian, Cartesian uh, ones is that I uh, that was a request um, from one of you uh, guys uh, to make this hole smaller uh, for the nut to have less um, room to wiggle when it's being tightened uh, so there's less um, less room for error um, because uh, most of us probably know what happens if an M3 screw binds on the nut then the plastic part is um, goes to trash, trash basically so we're trying to avoid that and probably the best option for those for a slim little piece like those uh, tension sliders is to use a square nut and I guess that's the main reason why Prusa does it uh, this way it uses those all around because they will stay in a plastic part better when so you can apply that much more uh, torque to it um, those were point two and three. Um, the duct, the horns duct, as they were called, where they were a different project. Um, I have it as low as I have it over here, so you can reference from the bottom of the screen. Screen. Um, I for the two, the angled Hamera version of the duct and the straight, as it's called, uh, version. This one, we have. Uh, we I added um, 
because of uh, requests. We don't know that the people that are requesting that we were not sure what why what the cause was, but the ducts ended up being lower than the nozzle, which was obviously a problem. Uh, so we figured out that raising the end by one millimeter, which you can see I did, just did, um, it would be is enough and helped. So whatever the issue was, uh, this is the solution, and that seems to work. Uh, so um, all four versions, uh, I mean two angled ones with uh, higher tolerance and the straight ones with higher tolerance and not, and the original ones are over there to um, to be downloaded. So pick the one that you need. The Titan piece, the Titan assembly. Um, it changed, um, and it changed uh, for the now the the big um, quite ugly back part that was uh, over here. This allowing to use a different size NEMA motor is now moved to a different ugly piece on the side this time. So when you feed the cables over here, just make sure those are uh, going somewhere safe not to rub against the profile over here. But yeah, now you can mount uh, different uh, motors because the ones that I am uh, using, the ones that I'm using has 23 millimeters and I guess a more common one is 25 millimeters and that already did not fit. fit. You can also slap a uh, real-time 40 over here but that's an overkill for the Titan. Um, what else? The end stop spacers. So as you can see the nice little end stop that I'm, that I'm those nice little end stops that I'm using, um, this one would just not fit um, under the uh, NEMA motor so I added those two plastic parts over here that you can and this is the same for B the BMG varia variant um, you just apply those spacers and then drive your M M2.5 uh, screws over here to hold them in place and you get that space back on the um, on the XY jointer uh, and stop a block on the easy mode for example uh, you should be able to do that um to have not to lose any x space on your printer uh, there was a change for the cartesian back um, the previous version it was on the edge of being uh, unusable because there was no way to fit the belt from the non-tensioned side so now we have this same rule applied as for the tension blocks, uh, just those teeth, the, just the teeth uh, mechanism, let's say. And those provide plenty of grip. It's easier to feed them in, uh, just poke the belt with a screwdriver uh, all around over here and you're good to go. I tried to rip it apart um, when with my uh, um, hands and I was not strong enough to do that so I guess that works uh, one thing I wanted to point out or one of a few things I wanted to point out is that Eva is now officially being or is going to be officially used on the uh, Vcast from Ratrik which is uh, awesome um, they used it to uh, for the compatibility that comes with with Eva. So um, yeah, kind of proud and very happy that this happened. Um, hopefully, would get some traction. Maybe a few people that can uh, that will be able to help me with um, with Eva. Um, I also organized the documentation a little bit. So the main thing is that I moved information about bed probes because people were still asking. So I assume um, they did not uh, go through all this <coughs> text. And sorry if uh, there are English mistakes, you can point it out as well on the issue tracker. Um, please <coughs> make sure to use that 
because it's the best way for me uh, when you click this you go to the issue tracker I closed a few today with this release uh, so yeah let me know if you have a feature request or if there's something wrong with it we'll try to address it um, over here that's the best way that's like a to-do list for me so it's the best way to um, uh, to uh, make sure I won't forget about your issue so the bed probes are described uh, a note about MGN 12 and MGN 15 is also here um, different fan duct angles so uh, yeah this thing um, was also to make it compatible with with a printer that uh, someone requested uh, figured out that it's, it's a good idea to have um, as many of those managing all the all those files is a nightmare but um, but yeah kind of wanted to to achieve that so you have the 90 degree angle one um, 80 degree uh, 60 which is the default as of now 45 and 30 the idea around 30 is that it would probably um, still fit inside um, a few frames of an core xy for example but would still provide a straight uh, airflow which i don't think or i don't uh, know really if the angle is um, such a big uh, issue over here will the 90 degree angle one for example allow for some turbulence over here um, to make a simulation like the one i have over here it takes two days um, this one is still valid so i really don't want to do one for every uh, for every version uh, over here um, so yeah there's that pick the one that you that you need that will fit that works best for you and um, use it as is um, under note about the tension sliders so i hope that people that don't see the video this video but will see will land a, land on this page will uh, be able to see how many possibilities it have uh, and i think i am done talking about this release um, if you have some kind of if you used this project for for something nice please let me know it will make me happy to uh, learn that it's used for for something awesome to help somebody or uh, to help somebody or um, you know just being used for such some cool project or to print something something nice let me know if you want it uh, if you want would like to put it on on this page I would be happy to brag about it with you um, so yeah I hope you'll enjoy thank you very much bye